Hey everybody, welcome back to Dead Man DZ's Kanji Study Streams. We got 12 new vocabulary words from the JLPT N3 coming at you hot. Uh, this is a writing study practice, so if I see a new kanji, I'll write it down 10 times. And if I see a new word with old kanji, I'll write it down 3 to 5 times. If it's a new kanji, I'll go over each of the radicals in each kanji, as well as their meanings and readings. We've only got one new kanji today. That's pretty par for the course for this 3,000 letter list on the N2, so we're not going to worry about it too much. Um, if you need any help writing kanji, head on over to jisho.org. That's J-I-S-H-O dot O-R-G. They'll show you how to write down kanji. If you need any help, uh, you know, with any of these older words, head on over to my YouTube channel. We've got, um, all the lessons up there. And if you need any of these old lists, those are all on my Google Drive. All available from my Twitch account. Head on down. Uh, so our first word for the day is yuitsu. Yuitsu is only solely or unique i'm gonna look at how to pronounce this real quick because that could probably go a few different ways you need to pronunciation actually let's go to gshow.org and see if it's got anyone you eat to there it is. Yeah. Pronunciation. One level. from Forvo. Okay, yeah. In Japanese. There it is. I'm gonna turn the music off, I think. You eat. You eat. You eat. You eat. You eat. Only, solely, or unique is you eat with tada or simply one and one. Uh, tada is kind of simply, so this is simply one, is only solely or unique. Yuit, yuit, yuit. Yuit is only solely or unique. Yuit. Number two is kizu, or itamu, or sho, for a wound, hurt, injure, pain, injury, scar, or gash. Kizu is the word you'll most often heard used in uh, anime. Itamu can be written with another verb, uh, with another kanji, excuse me, but it's just the verb for to be hurting or to, to hurt. Uh, radicals in this kanji are a person, and on the right we have another person on top of the sun. So the way I'm imagining this is one person is um, outside and he's laid another person down in the sun and he's wounded him. Uh, that's the way I can, I'm trying to think of it. Kizu, itamu or sho is to wound, hurt, injured, or pain. Usually the word means an injury. Kizu, kizu wa nai no is, aren't there any injuries kind of? Kizu, wound, injury, pain. Is a wound. I'm gonna try and just remember one of these words. And remember the other ones later. You get the general idea though, right? These are all kind of wound injury related words. The Itamu or Sho is Wound, pain, or an injury? Is it? Is it? Wound, pain, or pain? Is it? 
Number three is Ji Jo, the second daughter. Ji is next or coming. Jo is girl. So the next girl is your second daughter. The first girl is your Cho Jo, or your longest daughter, the girl you've had the longest. And your Ji Jo is the next girl after that. Ji Jo is your second daughter. Second daughter. Number four is Sai No. Sai on the left side is genius or years old. No on the right side is our um, ability or kind of being able to do something. Check that. Ability, talent, skill, or capacity. So your G, this is Sai No is literally your genius ability, but it literally means your talents or ability. Sai No. This kanji doesn't really have radicals. It's kind of one big radical on its own. But if I had to pick out a few, it would be no, the katakana no there in the center of a 10. or almost on a hanging hook. I don't know how to remember this as genius or years old. So this is going to have to be rote memorization, unfortunately. Sai is genius or years old. Genius or years old. Genius or years old. Genius or sight. Years old. Sign no genius ability. Or your genius ability sign. sign all genius talent or ability. Number five is Tsuyaku, or a passing through translation, oral translation, or an interpreter. This means Tsu is, I'm taking it as meaning kind of on the way, or passing through uh, translation, which means as it's being done translation. Tsuyaku is oral translation. Tsuyaku. Oral translation. Number six is osameru. Osameru is to dedicate or make an offering to someone. Our radical here, or sorry, our kanji here means to in income or to obtain something. So osameru is to um, make someone else obtain something, to make an offering, to dedicate, to supply, store, finish, or to restore. Osameru, to make someone else obtain finished product of something. Osameru. Osameru. Dedicate, finish an offering or to matter. Number seven is Oyogi with our radical, uh, sorry, our kanji for swimming. It's just our verb for our, our noun for swimming. It's kind of like the verb Oyogu. 
for swim to swim uh turned into a noun for oyogi you're swimming yogi swimming Great. Is chiraka, chirakaru to be in disorder, to lie scattered around with our kanji for scattering. Um, this is sampo for, for a walk. A walkabout is a sampo. And san, this kanji here, is to be in disorder. A scattered walk is literally what you're taking when you're walking around. So chirakaru is to be in disorder or to lie scattered around. Chirakaru. Let's look up how to pronounce this. I'm not sure about it. Come on, Forbo. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that pronunciation real quick. Chirakaru. 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 Be in disorder or fight. Number nine is ase o kaku. Ase is sweat and kaku is sometimes to hang. So to perspire or to sweat is literally to hang sweat. Ase, ase o karu is to sweat or perspire. Ase o kaku sweat or perspire. Ase o Or perspire. Uh, next, we have a tetsu do. A tetsu on the left side is iron, and do on the right side is road. And iron road is a railroad. Tetsu do is an iron road. Tetsu do is an iron road. An iron road or a rail. Iron road. road. Number eleven, your Cho Nan, just like the Cho Jo, is your eldest older boy. Um, Cho Jo is your oldest girl. Cho Nan is your eldest son. But this can also be used to indicate your only son. 
Choanon is your eldest son. Choanon. Son. Choanon. Son. Two of these kanji would be pronounced Don. I'm not sure here why it's pronounced Non. Um, fuck it up the history, I guess. Chonan is your eldest son. And finally, Kosetsu is a bone fracture. At first, I wanted to pronounce this Hone Ore, uh, which is kind of the kunyomi for both of these, but Kosetsu uses the uh, onyomi, not the kunyomi to uh, pronounce literally a bone breaking. A, this is the kanji for bone, and this is the kanji for breaking, fracturing. So this is literally a bone fracture, a kosetsu. Bone fracture. Kosetsu. Fracture. Go back to the top, make sure we've got all these memorized for now. The second part of my study uh, style is to go back and memorize, or not memorize, sorry, uh, just review, just review about 100 kanji from previous lessons. Um, you're gonna need review, trust me, you've forgotten some. Our first word from the day was only, solely, or unique, with yu yi, yu yi tsu, yu yi tsu, It's only, solely, or unique. A wound, a hurt, injury, pain, shō itamu, or kizu, means an injury or wound, with a man who has struck another man down in the sun, kizu. Your second daughter is your Jijo, or your coming daughter, Jijo, second daughter. A talent or ability is a Saino, with our new kanji, years of age, or genius, Saino. Oral translation or an interpreter is a Tsuyaku, Tsu, left side. Passing through, Yaku on the to Yaku. To dedicate or make an offering to someone is to Osameru. Osameru da to mokedo. Osameru, hi. Dedicate an offering. Osameru. From our kanji for to obtain, right? Dedicate an offering. Finisher to restore something. Swimming is oyogi. With our kanji for verb swimming. Oyogi. To be in disorder or to lie scattered around is chirakura. Chirakaru. 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 Our kanji for scattering. In kanji and then rakaru. Shirakaru. To be in disorder or set around shirakaru, to spar or to sweat is ase o ka. Hang on some sweat. Ase. Ase o ka. A railroad, railway, or rail support is a tetsudo. Iron road. Oh. oh. Your oldest son, or your only son, is your Chonan. Cho for long, and Nan for son. Chonan. And finally, a bro bone fracture is a Kosetsu. Kosetsu. F for bone, and fracture. Kosetsu.
Thanks for watching today, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful, uh, it's snowing where I am, so I hope you're having a good snow day. Uh, but if not, I hope you're just, uh, you know, having a good day. Thanks for watching. Domo, arigatou gozaimashita.